let's say the most difficult um, uh, experiences in people's lives are breakup of relationship, um, moving house, but I reckon having a builder in your house ranks up there fairly <laughs> high. I had a builder for three months, didn't write a word, and when he left I got a poem. The Builder. Small, aging, gimlet eyes, no English. I serve him tea, four sugars. At first we sign my needs. As day blurs into costly day, he's less concerned. Floorboard sanded almost to the joists. Silk white walls, first grey, now black. Paint smells of him as thickening dust covers my browning plants. Corn grows in the kitchen. Some windows are painted gloss with faint reflection. Wires now cross the room, crackling. Shower heads emerge in the bathroom. The fridge hangs from the ceiling, door glued shut. I eat wood filler and grout. He sleeps here now to save time. The phone rings less, it's always for him. Often it is him. Sometimes his friends all alike jostle in the hall, but when they're gone it's too still to breathe. At night the plaster heaves and sweats. By morning, like elephant skin, it's grown an inch. Some walls almost meet. Floral mouldings have burnt it, burst in the heat. My clippings, hair and sperm stuck to the walls as wood chip. One room is sealed at dusk. I'm in three rooms at once. Sometimes I am him, small, aging, gimlet eyes, no English. Thank you.